Hey guys. So, this will be the weekly reading for Aquarius. All right, so we have friendships. So it says, get ready to meet new people or connect deeper with friends. It will bring new energy to your soul. We have hobbies. Hobbies are a great, great way to distract you from worries and troubles. Create a roadmap and turn your hobby into a side hustle. Okay, we have treasure. An unexpected windfall will soon be yours. You will feel like you have it all. A very auspicious time, okay? We have faith. Have faith in the universe. Let it impress you with this magic. Enjoy the beautiful journey. Okay, so this looks pretty good. Clarify friendships. We have hidden blessing. Things are not always what they seem. You'll soon realize that it all worked out for your highest good. I feel like you guys are actually about to lose some friends. That's going to make way for better ones to come in. Like you may, you may think that you, like you guys may have recently lost a lot of friends or decluttered your circle. Um, but I feel like spirit says that you're about to realize that the people that left your life or that you had to cut off was actually making space for better friendships or for you to deepen friendships with other people, um, like that are good for your soul. So let's see hobbies dreams pay attention to your dreams they're providing rich insights into the issues that are playing on your mind so you guys could be having a dream about some type of career like skill hobby gift uh something that you do for work like uh, a business idea something like that that you're gonna have a dream about that spirit is wanting to bring to your attention they want you to start putting more energy and effort into that clarified treasure we have all as well so Spirit says, everything is unfolding exactly as it should be. Find peace and wisdom by accepting what is. So I feel like you guys are headed towards this treasure, this time where you feel like you have everything that it is that you've been desiring. So Spirit says, just, just trust that it's, you're, you know, you're headed in that direction. Clarify faith. You have thoughts. Keep your thoughts positive. Move past your limiting beliefs and shift your energy to raise your vibrations. So some of you guys are starting to get pessimistic about something here. Like they're saying continue is so and they know it's hard sometimes, but they're telling you to continue to have faith in the universe. They're about to impress you with what like whatever is about to manifest for you is a gift from the divine, or this is what they've been working on for you behind the scenes. So they're telling you to try to stay positive because they are there's something great or amazing coming in for you. Yeah, we have lessons. You're learning spiritual lessons that will assist you in your journey to spiritual growth. Be patient with yourself. So yeah, you guys have maybe been going through like a series of lessons. Um, but Spirit is preparing you for something. All of these things that you've been going through are supposed to aid in you growing and ascending, um, elevating. We have inner child. Connect with your inner child. Maybe you guys have been going through inner child healing too. Yeah, we have change. Be willing to let go of what you plan to have, the life that is waiting for you. So, yeah, there was definitely a need to release um, people, places, whatever, things, uh, ways of thinking um, so that you could have the life that you have been truly desiring. So I definitely see that you guys have been letting some friends go. Um, it could have been other things as well. We have autumn here. So maybe, um, yeah, everything will come together in the fall. Expect change, balance, and reconnecting with loved ones during this time. So maybe between now and the fall time you're going to be going through a, like a, more lessons or you're going to be going through a period of releasing and letting go uh, but maybe like whatever it is that you've been really truly wanting or manif trying to manifest is going to be coming in for you um in the fall time okay so there's it says empowerment give yourself permission to practice your power you're more powerful than you realize yeah fears yeah, there is this energy of you guys kind of like, I knew this card was going to come out. I saw it in my head, the communication card. So you may be, oh, I don't like this. Communication and sexuality. So is somebody communicating with you with the intent to sleep with you? What is this? Freedom. They're telling you not to settle. Beware of people just wanting to hook up with you when it comes to like the romantic side of things. Like there could be somebody that's coming towards you and all they have to offer is that or that's what their intention is. That's what they want from you. Nothing more. Spirit says don't settle. Um, let's see what else. Let's see what else. Give me four cards.
right, we see we have inner child here again and travel. It says you're ready to bring out that inner child spirit and open yourself up to new adventures. So some of you guys are actually going to be traveling. Yeah, going on an adventure, you'll realize that you don't have to take life so seriously. There's still plenty of fun to be had. So you guys are going to be like, some of you guys have always wanted to travel or visit certain places. I see you guys doing that. Some of you guys may feel like as a child, that's funny because I was actually just thinking about this, contemplating this like either yesterday or the day before. Like some of you guys may feel like as a kid, you were never, you never really had the opportunity to travel or go anywhere. I think you guys are going to be like, you know, what? I'm going to like heal that part of my inner child and I'm going to really try to make time and space and save money so that I can go and go to the places that I always used to want to go to as a kid or something like that. I don't know. There could be an opportunity to travel that will break up your daily routine and at, and also help you discover and consider fresh ideas you hadn't thought of before. And then we have marriage here. That's like a totally different energy. Tell me more about that. And discipline. So I feel like Spirit is saying like, I do feel like this, there's this energy here of like, Spirit says, be disciplined about who you're letting, you know, have access to you, your body, who you're entertaining. It says you, but I feel like you guys have gotten more strict about this. Um, Cause you guys may be wanting to manifest marriage, a husband or a wife. So you guys are being very strict about who um, you let, you know, have access to you. So it says you may get engaged or commit yourself to something. Someone or, be, oh, I can't talk. You may get engaged or commit your to something or someone because you feel in your heart to be right. You're ready to give it, give it your all to something you can emotionally and deeply connect with. We have discipline. You will improve your self-control and not allow impulses and feelings to dictate your choices by making level-headed decisions that will bring more peace and harmony to your life. So let's see, what's on the back of the deck? We have purpose. There will be an urgent invitation to live your soul's journey, receiving guiding messages. There's something about your dreams are trying to show you what your what your purpose is. So if you guys have been confused about what your purpose is, pay attention to your dreams. Write down your dreams when you wake up, like first thing when you wake up. Yeah, receiving guiding messages to keep you on purpose and answer the calling so that you can live and contribute soulfully. Trust that you're being divinely guided right now. There will be an ex there will be extra protection around you as you face uncertainty over the changes that are occurring in your life. Yeah, like there's like a divine plan at play in your life, but you can't really see, you don't really understand it. And you can't really see all of the things that are kind of being put in place for you. Yeah, this is a time when you'll spend more time at home, uniting with family or creating your own, making decisions to accomplish the family purpose to build a stronger bond. Yeah, balance is being restored. You're harnessing a level of self-mastery and possibly even reinventing yourself after finding your personal power through your own struggles. Yeah, it's like you're going to be coming into a new version of yourself, a better version of yourself through the lessons and through the struggles. Yeah, didn't I say, um, this is the last one I'm going to read from this deck, but clearing. I told you, you're going to be doing a lot of decluttering. You maybe already have been doing that, but I still feel like there's going to be still some more decluttering happening between now and the fall time. So that, like I said, this could be people, things, jobs, whatever, ways of thinking, uh, habits it says you're finding alternative ways to find happiness clearing away energy that doesn't serve you anymore and aligning with your highest self so yeah yeah and healing is here I, I told you i'm not going to um read anymore but yeah i saw healing as well so um let's get some tarot what else do they need to know about this We have King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We have Page of Swords. You have an Earth sign watching you. Yeah, is there an Earth sign keeping tabs on you? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy with the Page of Swords. We have Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, let's see, we have the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Clarify the... um. Clarify the King of Pentacles. We have the Two of Swords. Hmm. Sorry, guys. Loud truck. Um. Who is this Earth sign that can't make up their mind about something? Clarify the Page of Swords. 
justice. Somebody is watching you and possibly going through karma or they're 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 watching you and also maybe knowing that they need to make something right with you. Let's see, King of Swords, Queen of Swords, the devil. Ooh, Capricorn energy. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands. There's a lot of different energies here. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's a lot of decluttering. Why is there all these different people in the energy? <laughs> Aries Leo Sag energy with the Queen of Wands. So where do you guys stand in this situation? Where do you guys stand? We have the Seven of Wands. I'm telling you, you guys are protecting your energy. You guys are in this guarded, protective energy, the Hierophant, because you, yeah, the sun. You've learned your lesson and you're, you see something now. You're, you're being very protective of your energy because of some type of lesson that you've learned. Tell me more. The Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, and the Ace of Cups. And we have the Nine of Wands. So you guys are a little bit, I feel like there's new love coming in or a new beginning in love coming in for you guys. But you guys are quite guarded towards it. Because of what you've, it's like you guys have like learned some type of lesson. But you guys could also be kind of like in this scorned energy because you went through a lot. Some of you guys be Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So what, what's important for them to know? Because I feel like there's a lot of different energies here. Where does, where does, tell me more about where my collective fits into this. The Ten of Cups and the Lovers. You guys are about to be in a very fulfilling relationship, family situation or union. Um, but what about all these people that are in the energy? Yeah, five of wands. There's like a lot of like, there's gonna, this relationship that's coming in for you is actually going to cause some type of conflict. Like it's gonna be, you and whoever that you and this, whoever this person is, you guys are supposed to be together, but I see a lot of people tr interfering. There's like interference here that will try to interfere. Yeah, eight of cups or with the eight of cups here, somebody's walking away from the interference. Tell me more. The strength. Yeah, somebody's having the strength and the courage to do this. Yeah, the Nine of Swords, though. What about the Nine of Swords? Like, there's been a lot of people blocking two people from coming together. The Six of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. What about the Nine of Swords, though? Like, there's Four of Wands and the um, the Star. Oops, sir. Like, you guys are worried that you won't get, like, the commitment or the marriage or the relationship that you've been wishing for, but it's coming in. You're you're in, you're in headed in that direction. But it's like, it, either you, it's like you and this person have people that you need to remove from your lives before this union can come together. Because there's just too much interference here. Tell me more. So I feel like, like I said, between now and the fall, I feel like that decluttering will be happening, okay, on your end and on their end as well. Um, I feel like for you, it may be more like friends. For them, it may be family and maybe romantic interests. But I don't know. It could be all of that for both of you. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands. Because, yeah, look at this. Knight of Wands. Six of Wands. Somebody needs to get... Somebody has an issue with liking to have attention from multiple people. Okay, player energy. Um, the Page of Cups. Somebody's emotionally immature. What about the Page of Cups? The Moon. And the Three of Swords. Mm. The Empress. Somebody betrayed the Empress. Put the Empress in a third party situation. Ace of Pentacles. They have regrets. Somebody regrets like putting you in a third party situation. Putting you in competition. Putting other people and things before you. Um, the, yeah, there's definitely two people that are meant to be together. But there has to be some decluttering that happens before that comes together is what i can kind of see here what else do they need to know about um this situation what else do they need to know we have the moon that the moon just gets on the back of the deck so it says and listen to your intuition intense emotions deception hidden truth what about the moon what's hidden here or proceed with good health Changing nutrition habits, setting up a workout routine, work-life balance, routine checkups at the doctor. What about good health? Fluidity, staying flexible and adaptable, keeping an open mind, going with the flow of being teachable. So being more open-minded and teachable and going with the flow has is improving someone's overall health or something like that. But what is the moon? Business. 
listen to your intuition in regards to a career move. Work entrepreneurship, career moves, working on your career success, earning money through work. How about that? The moon and business, single life. Living your best single life, working on yourself, becoming more self-reliant, not settling for a bad match. Does somebody feels like feel like they need to proceed with caution when it comes to you because you guys are just kind of living your best single life and you don't settle? Because I'm not really, yeah, because I just saw, right as I'm saying that reconciliation, but it flipped back over. So somebody wants to reconcile with you, but they may not be telling you this. What is good health and fluidity? Marriage, see? Again, attracting a long-term partner, marriage life. So going with the flow is like, what about good health though? I don't understand. Anger. You feel you've been wrong. Arguments, disagreements, tempers, ego. So what's this have to do with my collective though? We have self-image. Insecurity issues, superficial. See, you guys shift your focus. You guys were like maybe trying to control the situation, trying to get this person to act right, do right by you or whatever. But Spirit says when you let it go and you start going with the flow, oh, this person's resisting the connection. Oh, they're, they're acting this way. Okay, that's not my problem. I'm going to focus on what I can change. And I feel like you guys have been doing better since you've been going with the flow and you guys are actually in the, the vibration or on the path to marriage or settling down with somebody. Um, when, once you started focusing on what you couldn't change, because there was this energy of you guys feeling resentful towards somebody at some point, but now you guys are kind of getting out of that energy. Yeah, rising from the ashes, being offered a second chance, the end of despair. What was lost is being restored. Yeah, clean up. What did I say? Sweep, sweeping away negative situations, clearing, cleaning up your life, decluttering your mind, simplifying your life. So things are going to get better. Um, one of the big problems maybe for you and whoever this person is that you're going to end up settling down with was that you guys needed to remove a lot of toxic influences out of your life. You guys had people around you that did not have your best interest in mind or that just couldn't come to the next level of your life, which was the two of you coming together. So there was a need to declutter those people from your life. So I feel like instead of holding on to situations or trying, you know, beating dead horses or, um, you know, uh, holding on to dead end situations, letting those situations go. Yeah. Yeah. Learning hard lessons. Yeah. Deep shadow work. Somebody's learning lessons or you guys are both learning lessons. And, and when you knew you, there were certain people that you needed to let go of, but you didn't. You stuck, kept trying to make it work or think that, hoping that things would change. And all it did was burn you and burn you. So I think that there was a need to be like, okay, like this situation isn't working for me. It's time to let it go. Like going with that flow. If something's not working, that's a sign that maybe you either need to change something within, the, within that dynamic. And if it's something that you can't change, or if you do make the changes that you are able to make in the connection and it's still not, it's getting worse or it's not getting better, that's your sign that it's time to let it go. And I feel like both you guys have an issue with holding on to situations when they've shown when it's very clear that it's not working for you or it's not meant for you all right so we have a woman so maybe there was a woman or a female that needed to be released to see yeah like somebody was holding on to a, a female or a woman where it says yeah love offer it says feeling alienated in life feeling like you don't fit in dealings with a foreigner somebody's been holding on to somebody that they know they're not supposed to be with or be dealing with anymore okay um, but we do have love offer being asked out on a date love yeah i feel like also them dealing with you has been a completely new experience like you guys have experienced something in each other that you have never experienced before or you will yeah love to the next level positive new love coming in a job offer you love so what does that do with woman and alien yeah rebuilding so you could be rebuilding a connection with somebody and look i'm drawn to this card right here and this card literally says the past so you could be rebuilding a connection with somebody that you have a history with past with um it says rebuilding after a loss investing a lot of effort ready to take action to improve determination and drive yeah something you can't control exactly learn to let go so somebody will become taking action towards you to rebuild a connection with you this is nothing that you can control or there's nothing you can do to make it come in sooner or when you know come in at all so it says, all you got to do is what's best for you. It says, choosing your highest good, aligning with your higher self, connected with spirit and on the path of the divine. Spirit wants to assure you that you're on the right path. And look, you have good news. Look at this. Good news, happiness. Yep. Good news and happiness. Yeah. But I'm telling you, there are people working against this connection. You guys have gone through some difficult experiences, but I think that you're about to step into a more lighthearted energy. Like things aren't going to be so heavy. Things aren't going to be so hard. You've learned the lesson. So it's not going to be that way anymore. But give me one more card on woman and alien. Unfinished. So 
leaving things unfinished tying up loose ends yeah there was somebody that there needed to be a loose end tied up like they could have had a, this could have been you or them there was a female or a woman a feminine energy that somebody had unfinished business with and they had to tie up that loose end and i feel like when they do that they're going to be coming towards you with a love offer and i feel like you will maybe be taking things slow with this person where it says the start of something bigger so they're coming in with a love offer but it will be the start of something bigger they're telling you don't rush into anything with this person somebody is going through some financial issues or something like that what is poor health neglecting health or spirit mm, mental health assessment i was kind of getting that somebody has been struggling with their mental health but that's going to be improving or an addiction but that's going to be improving as well why is poor health on the back of the deck poor health dating dating and poor health ghosting somebody just wasn't ready to date dealing with lack of closure somebody was still like not doing well like what is this sudden disappearing act cutting off all communication feeling rejected dealing with lack of closure being open to love something something seeing somebody specific going on more dates feeling good and flirting why but why poor health though one more friendship see attracting new friends changes in friendships spending more time with friends letting go of toxic friends i'm telling you you guys had people around you that weren't good for you that were toxic to you but yeah we have karmic justice wrongs made right you will be vindicated getting what you deserve learning karmic lessons you were meant to meet those people you were meant to have those interactions with those people but yeah you're gonna realize yeah focusing on love i feel like you guys are about to step into a you guys might feel like you know the divine keeps saying oh you need to focus on your purpose you need to focus on money you need to focus on yourself you need to heal you need to do this but spirit says like this next chapter that you're entering is actually going to be very love focused so spirit says okay now you're ready for love you know you did all the other things now you're you're going to step into that chapter where you're going to be building like a relationship with somebody you're going to be settling down you're going to be getting married that type of thing so